it's good to surround yourself with people that share the same interests and creativity with you, so you get to work together and keep growing. You know, you're only as strong as the people you run with, and when you're running with someone like him and I, we're strong as hell. So tell me, how did you two meet? Tell me the story, there's gotta be a story there. You, you got, got this? You got it. <laughs> uh, we met through Instagram about two years ago, a year and a half ago, and I was inspired, reached out, he reached back, we've been talking ever since. We both share a, a, a really strong passion for hair, and that's how we found each other. Um, and as we you know, just kept talking to each other, we realized like we need to meet up and do some hair together. Being that I'm a lefty and he's a righty, we can work on the head together. So we do this a lot. People haven't seen this yet, which makes it super rad, something different, you know? When did you guys start collaborating together on the same head of hair? Not too long ago. New Orleans. It was a, at the Behind the Church Show, it was the very first time that we collaborated together on one head. Yeah. And what was that like the first time? Oh, it, was, it, was it was amazing. amazing. It was amazing. That was one of the funnest times I can remember of the last year. We had the music bumping and we was in there just grinding, you know, just working our asses off. And we left, we looked at each other and was like, this is amazing. <laughs> the looks that I am known for are like more smoky metallic tones. They're more muted grays and silvers and muted mobs. He's a smoke master and I'm a vivid master. So when we got together, we had different sides of, of hair, you know? I loved one thing, he loved another. So when we get together, we just magic create. happens. Yeah. So we're trying to intertwine our styles. And what do you guys like so much about B3? Well, you know, working with Asian hair most of the time, you know, it allows me to really push that hair to the limit. Because, you know, on, on some cases I have to lighten the hair multiple times in that one session. And having B3 ensures that the hair will stay together while I do these processes. We push hair to the limit. We are some bleach masters. We bleach constantly. So once you do that over and over, you need something like B3 to control your cuticle. So it really helps in my field of wanting to lift and be an extreme stylist without having to worry about damage and destroying my client's beautiful hair. Are you guys noticing anything from B3 as far as you know color retention and longevity in the hair? Well, being that I use nothing but direct dyes, if I put in B3, it stays. When they come back that six later, they still have their color in their hair, which is something I've never seen. What's out there that you can add in bleach and your color? It's so unique, I love it. I would have never got as far in this color game if we wasn't doing this together. I think the idea behind coloring and pushing new levels is being around people that's pushing the levels too. So we're always gonna be stronger together because we're each pushing each other constantly. I think it's real what you guys are doing and it's innovative and new and people are responding to it, obviously. It's always humbling to hear that. You know, I, I didn't do this to have my name in like flashing lights. I just do what I do and if I can inspire someone, I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. Yes. I never had a uh, passion for getting up there and teaching people. My passion was to inspire and show people that you can do this and to lift people up. So. If that's what I have to do to lift people up, then this is what I'm doing. I never thought I would open up my salon because in my head I always thought it was so much responsibility. What really triggered me to do it is because I just wanted my own team. I just wanted my own home. I wanted to set my own rules. When it was all done, it was like the biggest pride, the biggest joy. So tell me about when you first started at John Frieda. How was that for you? That first day I walked in so nervous. It was uh, my first time being uh, in a, such a big salon, such a beautiful space. That night when we finished, I knew that's where I wanted to be. Uh, my first day at John Frieda was actually the day that I thought I was gonna do this for the rest of my life. I started working with a talented colorist there and just being there for my first day, seeing the work that he created, I was blown away. I was like, oh, that's gonna be me one day. So, I mean, you're kind of known for being a traveling hairstylist. You work in uh, New York and Miami, as well as Los Angeles. Um, how did that come about? I mean, I love to travel. I feel like if I'm in one spot for a long period of time working, I just, like, I need more inspiration, more motivation. When I'm out of the salon and working in these other cities, just meeting new people and setting new trends in that city just makes me so proud and like motivated of what I do. And when I come back here, I want to bring that work back home, you know what I mean? Yeah, my first client that I ever did color on was 
my brother's girlfriend. And um, it was fun. I mean, it was someone that I knew she wasn't going to come back and beat me up if it didn't work out. But it, it did take a long time, I must say. I mean, it's been like so long and I'm still doing her hair. So I guess it, it's, it's good, right? So let's talk about B3 a little bit. How has it changed the way that you do hair color? It makes the hair feel better, it makes the hair feel shinier. Especially if you're doing a, a major change from someone going from uh, brunette to blonde. It's definitely a good idea to put it in your lightener and just gives it the hair that extra protection. I did notice a change before and after I used B3. Um, keeps the hair more uh, nourished, doesn't dry the hair out. Now I just want to put it in everything. I mean, it's in the base color, the lighteners. It, it's just the extra pop, extra sweetness to the color. You know, I, I always follow you on Instagram, and one of your hashtags that you always use is perfect hair. Uh, what does that mean to you? It just means everyone deserves to have perfect hair, and we try to give everyone perfect hair. One advice I could give to a young person starting in the industry is to always stay on top of the hair game, stay on the new trends that come out, because change is good. Some clients want to see change. They sit in your chair for something new, and the more creative you get, the more artistry you can bring to the table. You know, I truly believe that if you love something and you dedicate all of your time and energy to it, good things will happen. That philosophy has served me well, and I think it can translate across the board, whether it's doing hair or whatever. I first discovered your work and was just so blown away by, you know, your gorgeous highlights because you started tagging B3 and yeah. Brazilian Bond Builder. <laughs> and, and then I started following you and just, you know, watching your work. Balayage, you know, what is it that uh, inspires you so much about that technique? I feel like balayage is always, you always get like a pretty sun-kissed natural result. And I enjoy the process, like for me, it feels like I'm painting a canvas rather than like doing something more mechanical. My background is in fine art. When I first decided to do hair, I thought, well, hey, it's gonna be a great flexible schedule. I can still actually do my art work on the side, but I have found that this has actually completely fulfilled me creatively. I get to feel like I'm making art every day. I heard you talking about children's hair. Yeah. And how the techniques that you use recreate that. When we're young, we, we do get to go outside and have fun, and the sun creates these beautiful natural highlights. And that's what I feel like I'm always trying to emulate, that just that natural, beautiful, childlike hair. The lived-in hair color look is really about um, having low-maintenance hair color. So it's about having highlights that grow out very easily, and it's also a beautiful look. It's beautiful and it's functional. What benefits are you seeing with B3 with you know your one process colors and glosses and glazes? The color lasts longer, it's shinier. You know, it really does seal the hair in a different way. Whereas I was using specific treatments for certain things, I can sort of eliminate that now where, because my gloss has become a treatment, essentially. In California, most everybody wants to be blonde, so that usually requires quite a bit of highlighting, which can be damaging to the hair. And I have found that since I've been using B3, I get a beautiful result without compromising the integrity of the hair. What trends do you see happening right now in the world of hair color? I mean, I think the lived-in hair color is huge. Low maintenance, beautiful hair color is timeless. I don't see that changing ever. There are certain trends that may come and go, but I think pretty hair that's easy for people to maintain is always in vogue. Yeah, classic and timeless and it never goes out of style. Yeah. yeah it's true. I think it's a very exciting time right now for hair because people are open to a lot. Color is a language, and if you know this language, then you're speaking to everybody. What was it that inspired you to want to do the kind of colors that you do and become a hair colorist? Um, well, I started hanging out uh, next to the gallery that 
is next to my salon and I began to just kind of listen to artists and relate to the way that they spoke about color and learned that it was okay to utilize these colors to provoke emotion. I guess my eye has to be like caught. I'm very distracted most of the time and I think like super bright colors like this kind of like held my attention and showed me hair in a different way because then I could appreciate different things about hair. I could see hair move in a different way rather than looking at blonde and brown. I saw it in multicolors and it looked more like a stroke of a paintbrush. Did you start working doing color saying, hey, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make these incredible, you know, intense colors on people or did it just sort of happen? Well, I like to say that kind of shows me, you uh -huh. know, and I had people at the salon that were telling me, you know, Danny, you gotta be careful well, with doing um, those kind of like crazy colors because, you know, people will just know you for only that. But I, I stuck with my heart. I learned as much as I can um, with hypercolor and I ended up specializing in it because I was doing it for so long because I loved it as the art though. I like collaborating with people. I like seeing what people's favorite colors are, where they're at. What do you like? What do you want to see? Because you try to like see through their eyes with their style. Tell me about your journey with B3. Um, it's been a great journey. Um, I like using it in my toners and not messing with my processing time when, when putting you know, bleach on the scalp. Because to me, with bleach and with people's time, timing is like everything. Uh, when I found out how to use it accordingly, that continues on keeping my color train like moving forward. That's when um, I really felt that like it was here to stay. It's it's a great treatment. It's like a cushion, you know. Allows me just to go to go off like with hair color and then still like repair it, which then like allows us to grow together, experiment, change different colors, have a little bit more fun. I say that B3 allows me to be me.